Hey, hi. Yeah, you get to see this fun thing that um I got uh through uh Video Games Monthly and cool story. I uh um kind of got a one second improvement on my world record in this game during practice. <laughs> So, we will definitely have to keep an eye on what the time is when we finish this. Yeah, don't lose my legs! That is the, that is literally the thing that I need to do, is don't lose my legs! Um, this game is very interesting. Um, so, uh, uh, we, um, when I, uh, press start is when we will, uh, start the timer. So, three, two, one, start. Do 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 do. You're like a weird mech thing driver. It's a port of an arcade game. Um, the the category is single loop. Um, it's basically infinite with slightly, slightly, um, increasing difficulties as it goes. Um. Just infinite, you know, game. Uh, very similar to like your Pac Man's, where you know it slowly increases in difficulty until you, you know, get to the kill screen. Um, so, single loop is um, the full map. The full map goes from the starting area all the way to basically what's a kind of sort of like an aircraft carrier thing. You have the same boss twice. Uh, it's basically like a mecha. Hydra thing, um, and you build your robot, um, your Magmax. Uh, you start with your little machine, your little car, and then you add your laser, you add your top, and then you add your legs. And you don't want to lose the legs. You do not want to lose the legs, because when you lose your legs, you have problems because it really improves your ability to maneuver and, uh, you know, avoid <laughs> um, some of the enemies. You just get a lot more damage radius, especially if you go near the front of the screen, since it's not auto-scrolling. Um, because you got the big laser out front, you got your legs, and it shoots from the front and the legs. And every once in a while, if you do it right or at the right time, you can sometimes kick the parts that you already have and turn them into, like, uh, screen-clearing energy balls. Uh, why and how it does that is still kind of up in the air. Sometimes it depends on how many enemies are in screen, sometimes it doesn't. It's just... It's so weird, but you have to have all of your parts in order to do that. You have to have the laser, you have to have the head, and the legs. Which is why Steve was like, don't lose legs! Also, because if you have your full body parts, it makes the boss hydro a little bit easier. Because there's a chance that you can, um, overclock the damage. Um, I really cannot get that to work for the life of me right now. It is not. It is not registering me hitting these at all right now. Uh, that is weird. I mean, it does. It, it, that's just normal for the game. It doesn't always work as intended. You know, those old NES ports of arcade games don't always work as intended. But it's very obscure. It, it, there, there's a lot of enemies that just kind of do weird RNG thing, which is where a lot of the difficulty comes in. Um, obviously. Oh, okay, there we go. Nope, nope, that didn't do it. Um, like, they will spawn in weird spots, and then sometimes their patterns are a little bit weird. Like these UFO thingies? Okay, first boss. Alright, I didn't quite get it. Oh, well, yeah, I kind of got it. Um, if you just were shooting at it from a distance, it wouldn't be that fast. But usually if you're up there with a laser, it takes extra damage by being touched by the laser. So if you're able to just stand there and take damage with your extra parts, 
with the laser. There you go. And then you kind of deliberately take the damage, go back to stage one, and now we're in the ocean, which is just a giant blue background that you can't tell where you're at. Which is real fun. I'll tell you what, especially with these things that literally come out and look almost like the background. <laughs> it's like, ah, um, okay. We got these weird sea slug things that are shooting at us and they're literally the background. Hooray. Yeah, it's it, it, it is very very 80s, very very Godzilla, you know, Gundam inspired. And yes, it is very weird. But you got to go through this ocean in order to get to the aircraft carrier. Oh come on! Just once, just once, I lost my legs. I shipped up to Boston and I lost my legs. I have lost my legs. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. I have lost my legs. Well, now I'm just ahead with a laser for a second and then I get my legs back. Thankfully, later in the loop, um, once you hit the ocean, they do give you more frequent um, body parts. Thankfully. But it does get more and more difficult. Okay, the screen will transition. Yep, you get the gray bars on the side that tells you, yep, you're in the new area. Welcome to the aircraft area. And you just stand in one spot, and hopefully you can just avoid being attacked by these walking robot things that look like the, um, the mousers, kind of, from Ninja Turtles. Except bigger. They're like, TV screen-sized mousers. And these guys move around in circles, but they shoot in weird directions. Alright. And you get P-Hats coming up. Yep, there's a P-Hat. Zelda P hat. And you keep seeing these holes in the ground. Um, if you were watching the demo thing that was playing while I was giving the description of the game, there isn't sub a subworld where you can beat the game through the subworld. But uh, for the purposes of the speedrun, it is slower to go through the subworld because to go in and out of the subworld, it actually takes time to go up and down into the subworld and out of the subworld, and I've lost my legs. And I think that was the last set of legs before the boss. So. And that is the last set of everything before the boss. Great. Thanks. All right. When this boss dies, that's time. Oh, come on. Smash, 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 smash. And time! Ugh. Now world record! But decent. Yeah, um, not bad. 745. The other, the, other the other category that this run has, or this game has, is um, since it's infinite, is a uh, 200,000 score attack, which I've also got the world record in. And I think he, I basically have get that in three or four bosses. So yeah, it's not easy. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for having me. Um, you know, if you liked what you see, I do stuff on my channel. I've been transitioning into more uh, RPG-ish runs. I've been starting doing Pokemon Stadium, Gym Leader Castle. Because uh, as you may have noticed, I'm wearing sunglasses because I have chronic migraines. I also have glaucoma. So playing stuff like Castlevania where I have to rely on visual cues might not be something I can do for a whole heck of a lot longer. Mm. If I lose my peripheral vision. So, you know, I got to think of the future.
Yeah, uh, well, we're glad to have you here. I'm glad that you are yeah. here. Thank you so much for the run. And thank you again. Uh, don't forget, donate for psoriasis research. It is uh, definitely something that needs to be researched because, you know, psoriasis does contribute to psoriatic arthritis, which affects people badly. Um, you know, younger people can get arthritis through that, and it can impair their ability to play video games because it is an autoimmune disorder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, remember, every penny goes to that. So, right. thank you again. Have a good one, everybody. I'll be sticking around in chat. Thank you. All right. Up next will be Ms. Mythchief. I did it right. Uh, playing Dragon's Lair any percent. So definitely stay tuned for that. It is a classic. <laughs>